my dad's in the back. Um, but I just got home after a really long drive. While I was on the drive, there was this guy that was so ridiculous on the road. Like, I was driving, and then we were going, honestly, like a little over 80. And he jumped in front of my car, and so I laid on my horn, and he, like, flipped me off. And I was like, okay, fuck you too then, like, bye. But I kept driving, and... Uh, he just he kept following me anytime I would like switch over a lane He would switch over and he would like get in front of me and then slow down or he would Get behind me and speed up and like ride on my butt. It was really really not fun. It was so uncomfortable and uh, God like I called my dad and I was like, what do I do in this situation? He was like pull over if the guy pulls over to pull over get ready to call 911 if you pull over and he pulls over to press call and like try and see if you can like take a picture of him while you're on the phone. So it's like okay, but it was like super uncomfortable. It's not fun. But I'm home right now and it's like seven. I just got a text. But I'm home right now and it's like not seven. It's like just at seven. And um, I'm about to hang out with my dad. He does not want to be on camera. But I'm gonna hang out with my dad yeah, for a little bit and then I'm gonna go to Dallas D-Town Big and chill. I'm so hungry right now. It's kind of ridiculous, but we're getting ramen tonight. I keep saying that. I'm just really excited. Like, I miss my friends from Dallas so much. They're literally the best people I know. Every kiss begins with Kella single. I gotta go. play, hey now, you're outside. Get the show on, get paid. All that living is go. Everyone, how's everyone's Saturday getting off to a start? My hair just blends in with this wood. But anyways, good morning. How is everybody doing? I hope they're doing well. I hope everyone had a nice, fun Friday. So uh, yesterday, I went to go see Deadpool with Austin, and then we did karaoke, and it was awesome. I'm like super tired from that. I drove back from where we were. Actually, my mom's place, and it was about an hour drive after we finished karaoke at like 1.30. So it wasn't that, that bad, but I came and I passed out in her bed. I love the fact that my mom still lets me sleep in her bed with her. Yeah, I'm 22. Shut up. I don't know. I just like it. Plus, her bed's super comfy. It's like memory foam and everything, so... But right now, I'm still in yesterday's clothes because, I, like I said, I just came home, brushed my teeth half acidly wiped my makeup off and got in bed it's about one right now but i've been up since about 12 11 something like that i wasn't really paying attention because i don't have any i don't have anything to do today um except for go see chain smokers i'm excited for that i am i am i am i am but um not like as excited as i wish i was like usually it's like three or four or five days beforehand and I'm like counting off the days and like this time I was counting off the days till karaoke. I think I've said this story before so if I've said it I'm probably going to cut this part out but I'm not excited for Chainsmokers really like that excited. They're not the band that I wanted to see or the artist. I get them confused with Galantis a lot I found out and so I think I thought I was buying Galantis tickets because I would pay $131 to see Galantis. I would just for like one night I would because they're super dope. But I'm hoping that Chainsmokers is going to be dope in their own way. I feel like there's been nobody to completely let me down with their show thus far. And I've been kind of going to festivals for about a year now. And I've been going to a couple shows. Like, typically people that I'm like, I'm not going to like this. I already know I'm not going to like it. Like, it's their style. Um, uh, there was only one guy that was like that, though. We saw him at Lizard Lounge. But you know what made up for it? His opening person, who was... um. Party Thieves? Party Thieves is the best. Like, I'm I am there for Party Thieves. But, uh, yeah. Yeah. Anyways, so we're gonna go do that tonight. And follow me on Snapchat because you guys will see so much more stuff on Snapchat. Like, I hate that that's true. But it's like seeing, like, a little behind the scenes. Like, a little... That's a back door. Yeah, I'm gonna stop that now. But it's like you get to see some of the behind the scenes and, like, some of the cool stuff that I'm not gonna remember to kind of film and put into a vlog. Because even though I do like vlogging, I'm like, well, you know, even though I do like that, I like that, even though I do like vlogging, 
Um, I'm not going to always take the exact time out to do my hair. I'm not going to always take the exact time out to, like, whip it out and, like, get it into vlog style mode. Like, sometimes all you can do is get it on Snapchat, you know, or, get, like, take a quick picture of it. So then you guys get to see some of that cool stuff. But, uh, I got my outfit for tonight. I got my wig, so that should be really, really interesting. And I think I'm gonna go over to Leah and April's place. Oh, also, another fun fact. So yesterday I had a bad, bad, bad road rage incident. And then also yesterday night, as I'm driving to my mom's, a drunk driver... So you know those, like, merge lanes? You know what I'm talking about? So a drunk driver is in a merge lane and then he turns around so like you know you merge to go straight so it's kind of like this here's my car and here's his car and we're supposed to merge into a lane he turns his car around and he almost hits my car and then he starts driving up the street the wrong way the reason that that's so important is because that street is a fucking highway it's a highway like this guy could have killed people so I called the cops, and a Tarrant County Sheriff was sitting behind me in a white SUV, and then he drove the exact opposite direction when I put on my hazard, when I put my hazards on, he like honked at me, and then he drove the opposite direction while I'm on the phone with the like operator, and I'm like, you know, that, that like, that dude's not going the right way, and then she's like, oh, well, hopefully we'll send another person out there. I don't know, I didn't understand why that, like, why they wouldn't have an officer going the right way, or like, anyways. But, um, yeah, I hope that person was caught because you, A, should not be drinking and driving, and B, you shouldn't drive the wrong way into traffic on a highway. What the poop? I decided to start saying what the flux, F-L-U-X, because, um, I curse a lot. I'm trying to give up cursing a little bit for, uh, Lent. I'm gonna get up and eat caramelized popcorn now because Garrett's popcorn is the best. No sponsor. They're just the freaking bee's knees. And probably put like real pants on. Because who even wears pants? Let's be honest. Who the fuck wears pants? Who the fuck? Who the fuck wears pants? No one. Garrett's popcorn. Some YouTube videos in bed. Is my life perfect? Yeah, I think so. Okay, bye you guys. Yo, hey, what's up, you guys? So, I forgot to vlog all of that last bit. Last time you guys saw me, I was doing homework. And now, uh, we are getting ready to finally, finally, <laughs> finally, April, go to, um, Chainsmokers. We were, spo we're supposed to leave at 10. It's 10.13. Someone didn't pick up the phone. Leah looks super cute. Really cute. So cute. She looks cute. I'm wearing a pink wig. When the pink hair comes out, you know, it's gonna be a good night. And we're like just now getting ready to go. And my eyeliner doesn't match on either sides. I'd just like to point that out. Leah said it was because my face was asymmetrical. And I was like, are you trying to insult me? And she's like, nah, everyone's face is asymmetrical. Uh, so either prove to science that it's not true and Leah was trying to be a butt nugget. Or be right. Look at my cute little booty right there. She's the cutest. So we're gonna hopefully head out... Hopefully we're gonna head out now. I think that was in there. Thank you for that.
and um, I'm really sorry. I was not paying attention. I'll explain it probably in like the proper breakdown video on Rage Babes Noir's channel about how how chain smokers and crush fest went. Just quick summing it up. It was like a three out of twenty. I think it was just a clusterfuck of stupid shit, and it was really frustrating. Chainsmokers saved it, but the whole vibe, like, because of this actual fest, this, like, lineup and everything, I think that I'm not gonna go to any more Dallas shows. Like, I'll explain it all, but this was really, 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 really bad this time. And, as I said on Twitter... <laughs> Slander? More like slam my head in the door repeatedly until my brain does pop out and ooze all over the floor. Like, Jesus Christ, they were the worst that I've ever seen. And I've seen, like, Kaigo, and he was... He just played experimental stuff the whole time, which I would have much rather had rather than slander. Someone just disembowel me right there on the floor, please. But anyways, <laughs> April and I were, oh, I'm not gonna stay here, I'm gonna go back home go to sleep because it's like two in the morning now so i have like a 30 minute drive ahead of me because i'm not gonna i'm gonna speed home no nah, i'm not for the oh we saw so many police officers tonight and there's like a hooker bus and then there was also like this girl that was getting a dui like it was crazy it was so bad but i gotta go okay good night y'all hey you guys what's up um, this is the ending of the vlog. As you can kind of tell, it's super dark outside. I drove back from Dallas today. So I'm back in the soon-to-be old apartment. Probably by the time this is uploaded, I'll be in the new apartment, and I'm really excited for that. I'm just sitting down, eating the last bit of Subway, because I'm doing a fast where I'm like giving up sodas and junk food. At least I'm trying to. And, uh, yeah, so, overall, I had a pretty fun weekend. I'm really glad that I saw all of my friends, and I got to just hang out and chill and have a good time. I'm glad I got to see my parents, and, um, I'm glad I saw Chainsmokers. I really, 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 really regret seeing Slander, but it's nice being at home until tomorrow when I move, and I guess I'll show you guys that. Anyways, I'll see you guys later. I hope we all had fun. Bye, you guys. Shroop.